Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Um, couple things just to go over a little bit of housekeeping. Um, new podcast dropped yesterday. It was a fun one. We had a little bit of fun, but um, I think it was very useful to think about, you know, where we are with with NFTs and and, and the mania of the market. And so again, go to SteadyTrade.com or Yahoo, Yahoo, <laughs> Yahoo, <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> YouTube, uh, your podcast app, um, it's everywhere. So that being said, the re- biggest reason I bring it up is I talk about one of my favorite books, um, Extraordinary Delusions and the Madness of Crowds. Um, the reason I bring this up is, hey, listen, things are a little slow. Okay, I don't think anybody's going to argue Things are a little slower out there right now. And I think, now ultimately, I think you should take advantage of these times, okay? And not be like, you know, you got you got two, you got two options, okay? You could have the 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 scarcity mindset, okay? Scarcity mindset, which is the loser's mindset. And you can sit there and be like, oh. It sucks. It sucks. There's nothing out there. Oh, you know, they're, they're, you're running the pre-market liquidity scan and there's two stocks trading over a million shares. Two. <laughs> Which is madness compared to two months ago. But anyway, you can whine about the scans. You can whine about the lack of plays. You can whine that Doge is going nowhere. Bitcoin's going nowhere. And you can have that loser scarcity mindset or or you can have the abundance mindset and look at it from the standpoint of, geez, when was the last time I read a trading book? You know, Um, you know, when was the uh, maybe I maybe I bought some educational course and I'm way behind on webinars or or or, you know, or or your fitness, you know, hey, man, I haven't you know, I haven't you know, worked out in two months. It's, it's, it, let's let's take advantage of it. So that's my point. So anyway, Extraordinary Delusions, Madness of Crowds, the podcast, it's a great resource. And that's today's life lesson. You can piss and moan about the lack of plays, or you can take advantage of the time to get better, smarter, faster, stronger, get 1% better a day. Okay, there you go. So, oh, I will move on, but um, most likely no pre-market prep this afternoon. Or, or sorry, sorry, market four one one. Many of you know I'm I'm continuing on this office remodel that has been taking months. And I, last tip of the day, last tip, and I'll leave you alone. If you're considering a remodeling or a construction project. One of the best tips I can give you right now, order all your materials, order all your materials, and don't start until you have like all your materials in your garage, in a storage unit, in a warehouse, because it's just getting stuff is so hard right now, man. And anything, you know, anything construction related, I mean, it's just, it's it's brutal. So there's your lesson. I'm just trying to save you some frustration. From a guy who, re- listen, I remodeled my kitchen last year and I went six months with my ref- with my old refrigerator in the garage because it took me six months to get, you know, the, the custom counter depth refrigerator I wanted. Six months. So anyway, <laughs> one more lesson and then I promise I'll move on to tickers. Never ever, and you should have learned this from yesterday. Never, ever, 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 ever go long an obesity play. I think OBLN, if I, if I kept you away from OBLN yesterday, that might be the best call of yesterday. Faded all day, gapping down today. It's going to give back the entire move. So just remember 836 AM, the golden rule of penny stocks. Never go long any obesity play. They never work. So maybe I kept you out of trouble there. Scott, I'm going to ruin, butcher your last name, Scott, but 
Scott Sizza Sizza Pooski says IBM has some NFT news. Really? So IBM was an uh, earnings winner the other day. Scott saying they got some NFT news. Uh, you sure? I don't see. Well, let me let me look at this. Um, I see news. I don't see NFT news. So I'll say this. IBM's an earnings winner. They got a press release. Crazy $100 billion market cap. So the thing with IBM, you got to have realistic expectations. But IBM, possible red to green uh, uh, earnings winner. Not a squeeze. Earnings winner. Slow moving massive market cap. But super low risk. I mean, your risk on IBM, I mean I, I hate to say I hate to say zero, but your risk on IBM is very, very, very low. I mean I mean so barring some terrible news, worst case scenario you'll probably just get bored. Uh BTX for a red to green squeeze. So BTX was freaking beautiful yesterday afternoon. Um this was, you know, check out the steady trade team. Um, you know, I went I you know, I go live every day, 9 a.m. 3 30. Um, some days even more. But I went live at 3 30 p.m. yesterday. I said BTX feels like the squeed mode is in, squeed mode is in. It's a risky gapper pushback over Friday's highs. This is straight out of so this move when BTX broke Friday's highs straight out of the ebook. Um, and I know what you guys are gonna say. How do I get the ebook? It's so close. It it might even be today. So the the ebook will be back on sale, extremely discounted because everyone's been yelling at me for months. Um, so anyway, that break of of Friday's highs. On a low float, heavily shorted stock is straight out of the ebook. As soon as it did that, at, you know, at 2 p.m., went from basically 860 to 11. So great afternoon move. This is one of the number one afternoon setups again in the ebook, and um, and yeah. So that being said, Alex, 100% weak open red to green. Especially, I love it in the afternoon if it can battle back in the afternoon. So, um, BTX killer plan in the steady. And as always, check out the steady trade team. If you would like way more in depth than I get here, um, on that break of Friday's highs, um, agreed on the red to green here, ideally afternoon. So why do I say afternoon? Okay. I mean, I know, you know, and this is something that, again, I don't have a ton of time to get into, you know, on these pre-market preps. You know, it's something I talk about all the time in the steady trade team. I think it, it's not talked about how, how important timing is. I think that gets overlooked a lot. Um, but anyway, the why. Okay, what's the why, Tim? Why do you say afternoon on something like BTX? Because if basically what after that, that squeeze into the close, squeeze in pre-market, basically I just want this to suck in more shorts. So the re I would love to just see this open red and just kind of grind sideways. And, and, you know, I always, I play the, I play the Rick James, you, you guys know the gif, you know, the give it to me, baby. You know, when, when Dave Chappelle's doing the Rick James so, so that <laughs> that's the price action I want to see early in the day. I want I want Dave Chappelle as Rick James saying like, "Come on in, shorts." Then you get that afternoon, and then you torture them all morning, and then you panic them in the afternoon. So, um, OCGN. So anyway, yes, afternoon after afternoon, red to green. Um, OCGN 8.30 press release. What am I going to say? What am I going to... So I always love... Well done on the timing of PR, OCGN. 
a little bit higher float, former runner. Ugly chart. But, you know, this is, I'm going to say this. On slower days like today, uglier charts tend to be the ones that work. And let me let me preview this PR. Um, so it's COVID phase three. Seventy percent of uh, I don't know. Well. It's kind of the best we got. Um, I'm just, you know, and I always feel like I got to give the uh, disclaimer. Um, you know, listen, guys. COVID, it's a big deal. I, You know, this is the problem with the internet these days. It's like you always, but before you can give an opinion, on, a, on a, even on a stock, it's like you got to give a, you got to give a, 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 well, not a disclaimer, but like you got to frame what you're about to say. So listen, coronavirus, it's a big deal. I know like everybody on the internet is like battling of conspiracy theories and stuff. But when I say what I'm about to say, it's just we're kind of past the hype level. You know, the 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 hype is fading. You know, the vaccines are out there. Um, you know, other than where I am, you know, in Michigan infections are down you know so i just don't really see the hype and it's such an ugly chart and it's higher float i say afternoon vwap hold i would avoid this early um and i know i'm boring um nobody is um fomoing i'm gonna say that fomoing on covid stuff you know it's just like you just don't have the mania on these, you know, because listen, Pfizer's got the, the real companies, the real companies got their vaccines out there. Who cares about the sketchy penny stocks, you know, on COVID penny stocks? Um, yes, I'm old and boring, but I want to keep you safe. Afternoon VWAP holds only. Remember, you can call it the ABCD. You can call it the gun pattern. I call it a VWAP hold high day break. It's that. And let me draw it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. There's only so much to talk about anyway. Um, so that intraday action we're looking for, and you've seen me draw this a lot. You want that big spike early, pull back to VWAP consolidate and then break into that 2 p.m. window over the high of day and then you're going to risk a VWAP fail. So VWAP is your guide on this setup. So you're buying that that uh that that high of day break into the afternoon and then you're risking VWAP. Um and again, what's the why higher float? So several reasons. Actually, let me back up. Um, it's just not a crazy day. That's all there is to it. It's just not insanity out there. Um, it's higher float. And the sector, you know, just in my opinion, there isn't any FOMO in the coronavirus sector right now. So, all right, everyone, as I mentioned, check out the Steady Trade podcast. Buy Extraordinary Delusions in the Madness of Crowds. Um, have a great day. I probably won't be here for Market 411. I've got some errands to run, as I said. And as I begin, I will end as I begin. You can whine and cry about the lack of plays, or you can maximize this time to study past chart patterns, to listen to podcasts, to read books, to review your trades, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, be a loser, be a winner. It's your choice. Losers whine, 
Winners take advantage of every situation they can. So, have a great day. We'll see you next time.